Hello, everyone, and uh, here we are. The big, uh, the big shebang, the finale, Saurfang and Sylvanas cinematic, uh, the war campaign finale. I just reacted to the video that like starts off the war campaign or the final bit of the war campaign in patch 8.2.5 and now we're going to jump into the finale and i have to be totally honest with you when i say that i am so nervous about what is going to happen in this cinema i feel like it's been framing it in a way that we're going to lose somebody in this in this uh in this cinematic maybe multiple people maybe a lot of people um it's long. It's six minutes and 18 seconds long. All right, let's just jump into it. I'm ready. Um, I'm so scared. That's, I'm so scared. Holy shit, that shot. Wow. Look at the Alliance and the Horde. Verok, it's time. Those who defer Dorgrimmar are whole as well. Our brothers and sisters. These warriors have sworn to fight. For you. Many lives will be lost. Or perhaps... Just one. Oh, no, no. Sylvanas Windrunner! I challenge... Makora! Holy crap, that shot. Same as the intro. A traitor leading traitors. Why should I accept your challenge? You want to make me suffer. Brother, you cannot win. Oh, fuck. I set you on this path. And we knew where it could lead. Walk with me the rest of the way. Ah, oh, dude, come on. No way, no way. suck let it be finished oh fuck yes our fake oh the high overlord falls I trusted you, and so did they. Death comes, old soldier. No, and man. And all their hope dies with you. You cannot kill hope. You tried and tell yourself. You failed. Yeah! Hope remains. You set us to kill each other at Lordaeron. You failed. Here we stand. You just keep failing. The Horde will endure. The Horde is strong. Yeah! is nothing
could see yourselves as I see you. Toy soldiers in tin plate. Beasts who howl for honor, standing as one. Savor it. Nothing lasts. do we do now? We bring him home. Christ. Uh oh man. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm listen, I don't I don't worry about me. I'm, oh my god. Um whew, okay. Uh that <laughs> I feel like Blizzard just keeps outdoing themselves every single time a cinematic comes out. And the writing team and the animation team and the sound and just everything, it, it just, uh, it continues to just, that's the best cinematic they've ever done. And I said that the previous one was, and I said the previous one, and it's just unbelievable the way that they can get you to, like, I care for these characters so genuinely um, at the end of the, all of them, even Sylvanas, like I didn't want to see Sylvanas kill. Sorry, I didn't want, I didn't want Sylvanas to go down that road. But I also understand why she has to. And what's crazy is I watch. So what? This this part. The horde is nothing. React like okay. Clearly, that was Sarfang's intention: is to get her angry and and do something right oh my god dude this part she knows she she just made a decision she's not it's not just anger anymore that first part was anger but she know she looked at the forsaken who got riled up by her saying that you know what i mean she just made a decision to continue with that thought and Sylvanas is not this like, yeah, sure, she'll react to something and get very angry and it'll all come out at once and, and and she'll rage and then she'll go, you know. But she's also super cunning, incredibly calculated. She, that is calculated. She knows what she said and she knows the impact that it has. You are all... Nothing! Why? What does that serve her? She doesn't do something just because she did that for a reason. If you could see yourselves as I see you. Toy soldiers in tin plate. Beasts who howl for honor, standing as one. Savor it. Nothing lasts. I, 
I just feel like she had a reason. Sarfang knew what he was doing. And, like, it's, Sarfang at the earlier cinematic said that he never had honor. And he literally just did the most honorable thing he could, where he single-handedly stopped a war that could have ended in who knows how many people dying. A war that would have just perpetuated it. He literally said at the end of the last cinematic that he was going to break the cycle, which Sylvanas started the whole expansion by saying ours is a cycle of hatred. And he said, it's, uh, we're going to break it. He single-handedly just broke it. By challenging Sylvanas like that. Oh, man. But there's another part of this that intrigues me. What? Almost as much as Sylvanas. Her calculation there that she made. Bring him home. That is so good. That. That. Right there. Anduin's face. Thrall's face. They're mad, dude. They are They're mad. Oh my god, I love it. And there's, um, this is to me probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wow, do. Anduin handing Sarfang. Look at this. Look at this. Literally has the the weapon of the horde. Uh, an axe, this crude weapon. This elegant Charlemagne, the the sword that belonged to Varian Rain. You have the alliance here in the background, right? You have the horde back here on this side. You have Thrall, you have Andrew. This is literally Sourfang uniting the horde and alliance. And I, oh my god. Let it be finished. And then you have the slashes from Sylvanas leaving this void energy uh, remaining on him, right? But then he, later on, is able to get the upper hand on her just real quick. You set us to kill each other at Lordaeron. You failed. Here we stand. You just keep failing. The Horde will endure. The Horde is strong. <laughs> Because she wasn't expecting the sword to split like that. And then she gets slashed the by sword. light. Right? Like, now she has a wound that's basically caused by the light. Is nothing. Dude, that... She... What is that? I want to know! I want to know! And it, unbelievable. This cinematic is just absolutely un unbelievable. I can't believe how good, like, this shot of Sylvanas walking out, like, absolute, just, oh my god. Thank you, Blizzard, uh, and everyone, thank you. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for letting us live in this world, because it's amazing. Uh, anyways, uh, I love BFA. I don't care what no one says. I love BFA. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much uh, for watching the uh, the reaction video. I can't wait to jump into the game myself and, and complete the war campaign. I want to know what happens after this so bad, um, which I'm assuming happens in the war campaign. This is 
absolutely unbelievable. Uh, what a fantastic cinematic. I was so nervous that Sour Fang was going to die. But, like, he did it in such a way that I just feel so happy that he was able to do that. Because we know that he wants honor. And we know that he, he's that's been chasing it his whole... And he got it. He got to die exactly how he wanted. On his terms. Doing exactly what he needed to do. Which is to... Which is to paint Sylvanas as the villain to everyone, not just the people that already identified with him and his beliefs, but with everyone. And they got to see it. They got to hear her say the Horde is nothing. And they thought she was for the Horde. Like, absolutely. Un oh my God. I loved it. Thank you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch me over on twitch.tv slash missile online, that would sure be swell. Uh, I stream full time over there. Uh, usually a lot of World of Warcraft. We played WoW Classic, got to level 60, beat Ragnaros and Anixia. Uh, and then now I've been taking a break um, and uh, in playing BFA. Um, and uh, we also play Final Fantasy and Warcraft 1, 2 and Reforge when that comes out. So I'd love to see you guys over there. Thank you again for watching. I love you very much. And uh, never give up. Never surrender to Sylvanas. Goodbye, everyone.